Hi friends, if you're new to my channel, I am Divya. I will be teaching 10th class mathematics. I will be posting videos regularly on my YouTube channel. So please do subscribe to my channel Divya's Maths and do like, comment and share the videos with your friends. Today we will be solving important previous year's questions from the chapter polynomials. Our target is to score full marks in our board exams. So let's get started. So the first question, Lakshmi does not want to disclose the LBH of a cuboid of her project. She has constructed a polynomial x cube minus 6x squared plus 11x minus 6 by taking the values of LBH as its zeros. Can you open the secret? So we need to find the values of L, B and H. Okay. So let us solve this problem. So let us take this polynomial as P of X. That is X cube minus 6X square plus 11X minus 6. So first let us put X is equals to 1. So, which is P of 1 is equals to 1 cube minus 6 of 1 square plus 11 of 1 minus 6. So, this will be 1 minus 6 plus 11 minus 6. So, which is 12 minus 12. So, you will get P of 1 is equals to 0. So, we can say that x minus 1 is the factor of p of x. See here, since this is a cubic polynomial, you will have three zeros, right? So, you will have three factors. So, x minus 1 is one of the factor of this cubic polynomial. So, let us divide this p of x with x minus 1 and find the remaining two factors. So, let us take this as P of X and let us take X minus 1 as G of X. Okay. So, we are dividing P of X with G of X. You need to remember three steps that is divide, multiply and subtract. So, the first step is divide. So, we will divide the first term of P of X by the first term of G of X. Okay. So, what is the first term of P of X which is X cube by the first term of G of X is X. So, when you divide you will get X square. This X square will be the first term of quotient okay so next you will multiply this x square with g of x that is x minus 1 you will get x cube minus x square you will write this x cube minus x square here okay x cube minus x square the next is subtract so subtract it x cube minus x cube will get cancelled. This is minus 6x square plus x square is minus 5x square. The two terms comes down. This will be le plus 11x minus 6. Okay. Next again you will continue the same process. You will take first term of p of x which is minus 5x square. And divide it with x. Okay. You will have minus 5x. This minus 5x will be the next term of quotient. So you will multiply minus 5x with g of x which is x minus 1. You will get minus 5x square plus 5. So write it here. Minus 5x square plus 
this is x 5 x okay plus 5 x the next is subtract so you will subtract it this 2 will get cancelled you will have 6 x so you will take minus 6 down this will be minus 6 again you will follow the same process the first term of p of x which is this one is 6 x by the first term of g of x is x x x will get cancelled which is 6 so 6 will be the plus 6 will be the next term of quotient you will multiply 6 with x minus 1 so you will get 6x minus 6 okay so write 6x minus 6 here 6x minus 6 the next we need to subtract so minus and plus so both terms will get cancelled you will remain with 0 so x square minus 5x plus 6 is the quotient so we will factorize this so we have taken the quotient and now we will factorize this to find the factors okay so this will be x square minus 2x minus 3x plus 6 from the first two terms if you take x common which will be x minus 2 and from the next two terms if you take minus 3 common this will be x minus 2 so x minus 2 and x minus 2 are common so x minus 2 and the remaining will be x minus 3. So x minus 2 and x minus 3 are the two factors. So therefore p of x can be written as see here x minus 1 is one factor. So x minus 1 and now we have got x minus 2 and x minus 3. So we can say that so zeros of this polynomial are 1, 2 and 3. Okay, so 1, 2 and 3 are the zeros of this cubic polynomial. So we can say that measurements of the cuboid are 1, 2 and 3 units. Okay, clear? So let us see the next question. Draw the graph for the polynomial and find the zeros from the graph. So we need to draw the graph for this polynomial and then we need to find the zeros from the graph. Since we have got the zeros of this polynomial as minus 4 and 1 using factorization method, we will take the values from minus 4 to 1 or 2. Okay. If we substitute x is equals to minus 4, we will get p of x as p of minus 4 is equals to minus 4 whole square plus 3 of minus 4 minus 4 you will get it as 16 minus 12 minus 4 will be 0. So you will get p of x is 0. So the coordinates will be minus 4 comma 0. And for x is equals to minus 3 you will get it as minus 3 whole square plus 3 of minus 3 minus 4 which is 9 minus 9 minus 4 which is minus 4. So this will be minus 3 comma minus 4 for p of minus 2 which is p of minus 2 square plus 3 of minus 2 minus 4 you will get it as 4 minus 6 minus 4 which is minus 6 the coordinates are minus 2 and minus 6 and for p of minus 1 which will be minus 1 square plus 3 of minus 1 minus 4 which is 1 minus 3 minus 4 which is minus 6. So the coordinates are minus 1 comma minus 6. And for P of 0 
so this will be 0, this will be 0, which is minus 4, which is 0, comma minus 4. And for P of 1, this is 1 square plus 3 of 1 is 3 minus 4, which is 0. So this is 0. Coordinates will be 1, comma 0. And for P of 2, 2 square is 4 plus 3 of 2 is 6 minus 4, which is 6. The coordinates will be 2, comma 6. Okay. Now let us plot the graph. So the first point is minus 4 and 0. Minus 4 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis which is here. The next one is minus 3 and minus 4. Minus 3 on the x-axis and minus 4 on the y-axis which is here. The next is minus 2 and minus 6. Minus 2 on the x-axis and minus 6 on the y-axis which is here. And the next one is minus 1 and minus 6. Minus 1 on the x-axis and minus 6 on the y-axis which is here. The next one is 0 and minus 4. 0 on the x-axis and minus 4 on the y-axis which is here. The next one is 1 and 0. 1 and 0 which is here. The next one is 2 and 6. 2 on the x-axis and 6 on the y-axis. So let us extend the points. 6 on the y-axis which is here. Now let us join these points. So from the graph we can say that minus 4 and 1 are the zeros of the given polynomial. Okay, clear? So let us see the next question. Draw the graph of the polynomial on the graph paper. Find its zeros from the graph. So see here we will first take 5 points and draw the graph. While plotting the graph, if we want more points, we will extend the points. Okay. So first we will substitute x is equals to minus 2 in P of x and see what do we get. So this will be 3 of minus 2 square plus 2 of minus 2 minus 1. So you will get 12 minus 4 minus 1 which is 7. You will get P of x is equals to 7. So the coordinates will be minus 2 comma 7. And if you substitute x is equals to minus 1, you will get p of minus 1 is equals to 3 of minus 1 square plus 2 of minus 1 minus 1. You will get 3 minus 2 minus 1 which is 0. You will get p of x is 0. So the coordinates are minus 1 and 0. And if you substitute p of 0, you will get 3x square will be 0 plus this will be 0 and minus 1. So you will have minus 1. The coordinates will be 0 and minus 1. So if you substitute x is equals to 1, you will get 3 of 1 square is 3 plus 2x is 2 minus 1 which is 4. So you will get p of x is 4. The coordinates are 1 comma 4. Then if you substitute p of 2 you will get 3 of 2 square plus 2 of 2 minus 1 which is 3 fourths 12 plus 4 minus 1. You will get it as 15. So, this will be 2 comma 15. Okay. Now, let us plot the graph. 
The first point is minus 2 and 7. Minus 2 on the x-axis, 7 on the y-axis which is here. The next one is minus 1 and 0. Minus 1 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis which is this one. 0 and minus 1. 0 on the x-axis minus 1 on the y-axis which is this one. 1 and 4. 1 on the x-axis, 4 on the y-axis which is this one. The next one is 2 and 15. 2 on the x-axis, 15 on the y-axis which is this one. Now let us join. So from the graph we can say that minus 1 is 1, 0 which, which is this one and the other 0 is this one which is 0 0.5. Okay, in between 0 and 1. So you can take it as 1 by 2. So therefore the zeros of this polynomial are minus 1 and 1 by 2. Okay. So let us see the next question. Draw the graph of the polynomial and find the zeros from the graph. Since we have got the zeros of the polynomial as 1 and 2, we will only take the points from minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. Okay. Now let us substitute minus 1 in this polynomial p of x and find p of x. So you will get p of minus 1 is equals to minus 1 square minus 3 of minus 1 plus 2. So you will get one minus 1 square is 1 plus 3 plus 2 which is 6. The coordinates are minus 1 comma 6. If you substitute 0 in P of X you will get 0 minus 0 plus 2. You will get 2. So the coordinates are 0 and 2. If you substitute 1 in P of X you will get 1 square is 1 minus 3 plus 2. You will get it as 0. Okay. So the coordinates will be 1 comma 0 and if you substitute P of 2. If you substitute 2 in P of X you will get 2 square is 4 minus 3 of, 3 of 2 plus 2. You will get 4 minus 6 plus 2 which is 0. Okay. So let us plot the graph. So the first point is minus 1 and 6, minus 1 on the x-axis and 6 on the y-axis which is this one. The next one is 0 and 2, 0 on the x-axis, 2 on the y-axis which is this one. The next one is 1 on the x-axis, 0 on the y-axis which is this one. The next one is 2 and 0. 2 on the x-axis, 0 on the y-axis which is this one. So let us take one last point. So P of x will be, what is P of x? x square minus 3x plus 2. x square minus 3x plus 2. So if you substitute P of 3, you will get 3 square is 9 minus 3 of 3, 9, 9 plus 2. So you will get it as 2. Okay. So the last coordinates will be 3, 2. Let us extend this graph. So the next point is 3 and 2. 3 on the x axis, 2 on the y axis, which is this one. Okay. Now let us join these points. So from the graph we can say that 1 and 2 are the zeros of the given polynomial. Okay. So let us see the next question. Draw the graph of the polynomial on the graph paper and find its zeros from the graph. So you need to find the zeros of this polynomial using the graph. We have got 1 and 4 as zeros of this polynomial by using factorization method. So we will take the values from minus 1 to 4 or 5. Okay. 
to plot a graph we will find the values of x and y so if you substitute x is equals to minus 1 in p of x you will get minus 1 square is 1 minus 5 of minus 1 plus 4 which is 1 plus 5 plus 4 which is 10. The coordinates are minus 1 comma 10 and if you substitute p of 0 you will get this will be 0 and this will be 0 you will remain with 4 okay. So this is 4. Coordinates are 0 comma 4 and if you substitute 1 in p of x you will get 1 square is 1 minus 5 plus 4 which is 0 okay coordinates will be 1 comma 0 and if you substitute 2 in p of x you will get 2 square is 4 minus 5 x 5 into 2 is 10 plus 4 which is minus 2 so coordinates will be 2 comma minus 2 and if you substitute p of 3 in p of x you will get 3 square is 9 minus 15 plus 4 which is minus 2. So this will be minus 2 coordinates are 3 comma minus 2. If you substitute 4 in p of x you will get 16 minus 20 plus 4 which is 0 okay so coordinates are 4 comma 0 and if you substitute 5 in p of x you will get 25 minus 25 plus 4 which is 4 okay coordinates will be 5 comma 4 now let us plot the graph So the first point is, the first point is minus 1 and 10, minus 1 on the x-axis, 10 on the y-axis which is this one. The next one is 0 and 4, 0 on the x-axis, 4 on the y-axis which is this one. The next one is 1 and 0, 1 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis which is this one. The next one is 2 and minus 2. 2 on the x-axis minus 2 on the y-axis which is this one. The next one is 3 and minus 2. 3 on the x-axis minus 2 on the y-axis which is this one. The next one is 4 and 0. 4 on the x-axis, 0 on the y-axis which is this one. The next one is 5 and 4. 5 on the x-axis and 4 on the y-axis which is this one. Now let us join these points. So from the graph we can say that the zeros of this given polynomial are 1 and 4. Okay. So let us see the next question. On dividing x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 7 by x square minus 2x plus 4. If the remainder is in the form of ax plus b then find the values of a and b okay so we need to find the values of a and b and so let us divide these two polynomials so we know how to divide them right so we need to remember only three steps that is divide multiply and subtract so let us take this as p of x and let us take this as g of x the first step is divide. So we will divide the first term of p of x which is x cube by the first term of g of x which is x square. You will get x. This x will be the first term of quotient. Okay. The next step is multiply. You will multiply this x with g of x which is x square minus 2x 
plus 4. You will get it as x cube minus 2x square plus 4x. You will write this here which is x cube minus 2x square plus 4x. The next one is subtract. So you will subtract it. So x cube and x cube will get cancelled. Here you will have minus x square. Here you will have plus x and minus 7 you will take it down. Okay. Then you will follow the same steps again. The first one is divide. You will divide the first term of p of x which is minus x square with the first term of g of x which is x square. You will get it minus 1. The next you will multiply minus 1 with g of x which is x square minus 2x plus 4. This minus 1 will be the next term of quotient. Okay, so when you multiply you will get minus x square plus 2x minus 4. So you will write it, you will write it here. Minus x square plus 2x minus 4. The next step is subtract. So you will subtract it. So this will get cancelled. This will be minus x minus 3. So, this is a remainder R of x. So, see the question. If the remainder is in the form of Ax plus B. So, this remainder, if this is in the form of Ax plus B, then we need to find the values of A and B. Okay. So, let us equate minus x minus 3 is equals to Ax plus B. If we compare these both, so here this can be written as minus 1 into x minus 3 is equals to ax plus b. So if we compare these both, you will get a is equals to minus 1 and b is equals to minus 3. So the values of a and b are minus 1 and 3. Let us see the next question. Divide 3x power 4 minus 5x cube plus 4x square plus 3x minus 5 by x square minus 3 and verify the division algorithm. Okay. So we need to divide these two polynomials and then we need to verify using the division algorithm. Okay. So first let us divide them. So to divide any two polynomials we will follow three steps. One is divide. Multiply and then subtract. So the first step is divide. So we will divide the first term of P of X with the first term of G of X. Which is 3X power 4 by X square. So you will have 3X square. So this 3X square will be the first term of the quotient. Okay. Then the next step is multiply. You will multiply 3x square with g of x which is x square minus 3. You will get 3x power 4 minus 9x square. Okay. You will write this one here. Which is 3x power 4 minus 9x square. So, we do not have x cube term. So, we will just leave it as blank. Okay. Or you can take it as 0. No problem. So, the next step is subtract. So, we will subtract it. So, 3x power 4 minus 3x power 4 will get cancelled. So, here you will have minus 5x cube. This is plus 13x square. So, we will just take these two terms down. Plus 3x minus 5. Next again you will follow the same steps. We will divide the first term of p of x which is minus 5x cube with the first term of g of x which is x square. You will have minus 5x. So this minus 5x is the next term of q of x. Okay. 
then you will multiply minus 5x with the g of x which is x square minus 3. You will get minus 5x cube plus 15x. So you will write it here which is minus 5x cube plus 15x. The next step is subtract. So we will subtract it. So this will get cancelled. Here you will have 13x square. This is minus 12x. So we can get minus 5 down. Next again you will follow the same process. You will take 13x square divided by x square. You will get 13. Okay. So this 13 is the next term of q of x. And then you will multiply 13 with g of x which is x square minus 3. You will get 13x square minus 39. Okay. So you will write it here which is 13x square minus 39. So the next step is subtract. So you will subtract it. So this will get cancelled. You, here you will have minus 2lx. This is plus 34. Okay. So this is your r of x. Okay. Now we need to verify the division algorithm. So what is division algorithm? Dividend is equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So this is the dividend. So see here this is the dividend and this is the divisor. Okay this is the divisor, this is the quotient, this is the quotient q of x and this is the remainder which we have got. So let us multiply divisor and quotient first. So you will get x square into 3x square is 3x power 4 minus 5x cube plus 13x square. Then we will multiply with minus 3 which is minus 9x square plus 15x minus 39. This is minus 12x plus 34. So here which is 3x power 4 minus 5x cube. So this is plus 13x square and minus 9x square is plus 4x square. Okay. Here plus 15x and minus 12x is plus 3x plus 3x. So here minus 39 plus 34 is minus 5. Okay. So which is nothing but your P of X. Okay. This is your dividend. For verified. Okay. So let us see the next question. Draw the graph of the polynomial P of X. And find the zeros from the graph. By factorizing this we have got 2 and 3 are the zeros of this polynomial. Now let us find using the graph. So see here as we have got the zeros 2 and 3. We will take the values from minus 1 to 4. Okay. So if you substitute minus 1 in P of X you will get P of minus 1 is equals to minus 1 square is 1 minus 5 of minus 1 plus 6. So which is 1 plus 5 plus 6 which is 12. So you will get it as 12. So the coordinates are minus 1 comma 12. You substitute x is equals to 0 in P of x. So see here this will be 0, this will be 0, 6 is remaining. So, you can directly take it as 6. Coordinates will be 0 and 6. 
if you substitute x is equals to 1 then p of 1 will be 1 square is 1 minus 5 of 1 is minus 5 plus 6 so which is 7 minus 5 is 2 so you will get it as 2 coordinates are 1 and 2 and if you substitute x is equals to 2 in p of x so you will get p of 2 is equals to x squared that is 2 squared is 4 minus 5 of 2 which is minus 10 plus 6. You will get it as 0. Okay. So, th this is 0. Coordinates will be 2 comma 0. Then if you substitute 3 x is equals to 3. If you substitute x is equals to 3 in p of x. So, p of 3 will be 3 square is 9 minus 5 threes is 15 plus 6 which is again 0. Okay. So, coordinates will be 3 comma 0. If you substitute x is equals to 4 in p of x. So, you will get p of 4 is equals to 4 square is 16 minus 5 fours is 20 plus 6. This is 22 minus 20 which is 2. Okay. So, you will get it as 2. Coordinates will be 4 comma 2. Now, let us plot the graph. So, the first point is minus 1 and 12. Minus 1 on the x-axis, 12 on the y-axis which is here. The next one is 0 and 6. 0 on the x-axis, 6 on the y-axis which is here. The next one is 1 and 2. 1 on the x-axis, 2 on the y-axis which is this one. The next one is 2 and 0 which is this one. The next one is 3 and 0 which is this one. The next one is 4 and 2. 4 on the x-axis, 2 on the y-axis which is this one. So, let us join them. So, see here from the graph we can say that 2 and 3 are the zeros of the given polynomial p of x. Okay, clear? So, let us see the next question. Draw the graph of the polynomial p of x and find the zeros from the graph. So, solve this question and let me know the zeros of the polynomial in the comment section below. So, let us see the next question. The total number of pencils required are this one. This is the polynomial given. So, this is the polynomial he has given. This is the total number of pencils required. If each box contains this number of pencils, okay, then we need to find the number of boxes to be purchased. So, we need to divide these two polynomials and find the number of boxes to be purchased, okay. So, to divide any two polynomials, we need to follow three steps. One is divide one is multiply and one is subtract. So, we will divide. So, we need to divide the first term of p of x with the first term of g of x. That is 4x power 4 by x square. You will have 4x square. This 4x square is the first term of the quotient. Okay. Then the next step is multiply. You will multiply 4x square with g of x. That is x square plus 2x minus 3. You will get 4x power 4 plus 8x cube minus 12x square. So, you will write this here. Which is 4x power 4 plus 8x cube minus 12x square. The next step is subtract. So, you will subtract them. This will get cancelled. Here, you will have minus 6x cube. Here, you will have plus 10x square. Okay. So, you will get the terms down which is plus 62x minus 66. Then again, follow the same thing. 
First, you will divide. You will divide minus 6x cube with x square. You will have minus 6x. This is the next term of the quotient. You will multiply minus 6x with x square plus 2x minus 3. You will get minus 6x cube minus 12x square plus 18x. Okay. So take it here which is minus 6x cube minus 12x square plus 18x. The next step is subtract. So you will subtract them. So this will get cancelled. So here you will have 22x square. This is plus 44x. Then you will take minus 66 down. Okay. Then again follow the same three steps. The first one is divide. You will divide 22x square by x square. You will have 22. 22 is the last term of the quotient. Okay. Then you will multiply 22 with x square plus 2x minus 3. So you will get 22x square plus 44x minus 66. So, so take it here which is 22x square plus 44x minus 66. The next you need to subtract them. So you will subtract it. So all the terms will get cancelled. 0 is the remainder. So therefore, therefore number of boxes to be purchased is this one which is your Q of x. 4x square minus 6x plus 22. Okay, clear? So, let us see the next question. Draw the graph of the polynomial P of x and find the zeros from the graph. So, plot the graph and find the zeros of the polynomial from the graph. And let me know the zeros of the polynomial in the comment section below. So, let us see the next question. If we multiply or divide both sides of a linear equation by a non-zero number, then the roots of a linear equation will remain the same. Is it true? We need to justify with an example. So, let us solve this question. So, let us take a linear equation as 2x plus 8 is equals to 11. So, from here, if you simplify this, you will get 2x is equals to 11 minus 8. You will get 2x is equals to 3. x is equals to 3 by 2. Yes, you will get x is equals to 3 by 2. So, if we multiply with a non-zero number. So, if we multiply this 2x plus 8 is equals to 11. If you multiply this linear equation with a non-zero number that is 10, you will get 20x plus 80 is equals to 110. So, you will get 20x is equals to 110 minus 80. So, 20x is equals to 30. x is equals to 30 by 20. So, you will get x is equals to 3 by 2. Correct. So, the roots remains the same. So, when we multiply a linear equation with a non-zero number, the roots will be same. Okay. See here, here we have got 3 by 2 and after multiplying it with a non-zero number, we have got 3 by 2. Yes. So, we can say that the solution does not change and the statement is true. Okay. So, let us see the next question. Use the table given below to draw the graph. Use the graph drawn to find the values of A and B. So, they have given us the table. We need to draw the graph and find the values of A and B. So, the first one is minus 2 and minus 3. 
minus 2 on the x-axis and minus 3 on the y-axis, which is this one. Okay. The next one is 0 and 1, 0 on the x-axis and 1 on the y-axis, which is this one. So, see here, next one is 2 and a, right? So, we'll just keep it aside and we will take 1 and 3. So, 1 on the x-axis and 3 on the y-axis, which is this one. Okay. So, let us join these points. We have joined these points without plotting A and B because we need to find A and B. Yes, now see here, first let us find the value of A. Now see here, here X is equals to 2, we need to find the value of A. So when X is equals to 2, if we join this 2, the graph is meeting at, this is 5. Okay, so the coordinates will be 2 and 5. Okay, so the value of A will be 5 here. Okay, so if we join them, if we join them, you will get 2 and 5. So in the same way, in the same way, we need to find the value of B here. And they have given us Y is equals to minus 7. So where is minus 7? The minus 7 value is here. So, this is minus 7. Right? This is minus 7 and it is also meeting minus 4. Right? So, the value of B is minus 4. B is equals to minus 4. Okay? The coordinates will be minus 4 and minus 7. Okay? The values of A and B are... 5 and minus 4. Okay, clear? So, let us see the next question. The length of a rectangle is 5 more than its breadth. So, express its perimeter in form of a polynomial. So, let us solve this question. So, this is the rectangle. Okay, so... The length of a rectangle is 5 more than its breadth. So, let us take breadth is equals to x meters. Okay. So, breadth will be x. So, what is length he has given? Length is 5 more than breadth. Okay. Which is x plus 5. So, we need to express its perimeter in form of a polynomial. So, what is the perimeter of a rectangle? Perimeter of, perimeter of a rectangle is equals to 2 into L plus B, right? So, which is 2 into L is X plus 5 plus B is X. So, which is 2 into 2X plus 5. So, which is 4X plus 10. Okay, so this 4x plus 10 is the polynomial which represents the perimeter of this rectangle. Clear? So, let us see the next question. Show that 2 and minus 1 by 3 are the zeros of the polynomial. So, how do we show that this 2 and minus 1 by 3 are the zeros of the given polynomial? We will substitute x is equals to 2 and again we will substitute x is equals to minus 1 by 3. If we are getting p of 2 or p of 1 by 3 is equals to 0. If we get if we get p of 2 or p of 1 by 3 is equals to 0, then these two are the zeros of this given polynomial. Okay, so let us solve them. So p of x, the given polynomial is 3x square minus 5x minus 2. So, first let us substitute x is equals to 2 and see if you are getting 0. So, you will get 3 of 2 square minus 5 of 2 minus 2. So, which is this is 4. 3 into 4 is 12 minus 10 minus 2. 
you will get 12 minus 12 is equals to 0. So, you have got P of 2 is equals to 0. So, we can say 2 is the 0 of this given polynomial. Now, let us find for P of minus 1 by 3. So, 3 into minus 1 by 3 square minus 5 of minus 1 by 3 minus 2. So, you will get 3 of 1 by 9 plus 5 by 3 minus 2. Which is, this is 3 1s and 3 3s. 1 by 3 plus 5 by 3 minus 2. So, this 2 will be 6 by 3. Right, 6 by 3 minus 2. This is 3 1s and 3 2s. Which is 2 minus 2 is 0. So, we have got P of minus 1 by 3 is also 0. So, we can say that 2 and minus 1 by 3 are the zeros of this given polynomial. So, let us see the next question. Which of root 2 and 2 is the zero of the polynomial P of x? So, we need to check if root 2 and 2 are the zeros of the polynomial. Okay. So, let us solve this question. So, the given polynomial p of x is equals to x cube minus 2x. So, first let us substitute x is equals to root 2. So, you will get root 2 whole cube minus 2 into root 2. Which is root 2 whole cube will be 2 root 2. Minus this is 2 root 2. So, 2 root 2 minus 2 root 2 is 0. So, we can say that root 2 is the 0 of this polynomial. Yes, now let us check for 2. If you substitute x is equals to 2, you will get 2 cube minus 2 of 2 which is 8 minus 4 which is 4. This is not the 0 of the polynomial. So, we need to say why root 2 and 2 are the zeros of the polynomial. Since p of root 2 is 0, it is the 0 of the polynomial and since p of 2 is not 0, it is not 0 of the polynomial. Okay. Only root 2 is the 0 of the polynomial. Okay. So, let us see the next question. Divide x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 by x square minus 2 and verify the division lemma. So, first we need to divide these two polynomials and then we need to verify using the division algorithm. Okay. So, first let us divide them. So, we know that to divide any two polynomials, we need to follow only three steps. They are divide, multiply and subtract. Okay. So, the first step is divide. So, let us divide the first term of P of x which is x cube with the first term of G of x which is x square. You will get x. Yes, this x is the first term of the quotient. Then the next step is multiply. You will multiply x with G of x which is x square minus 2. You will get x cube minus 2x. Okay, write this x cube minus 2x here. x cube minus 2x. If you do not have any x square term, you can take it 0 or you can just leave it blank. Okay, so the next step is subtract. So, you will subtract them. This will get cancelled. Here you will have minus 3x square. This is plus 7x and you will take minus 3 down. Okay. Then again follow the same three steps. The first one is divide. You will divide minus 3x square with x square. You will have minus 3. Minus 3 is the next term of the quotient. You will multiply minus 3 with x square minus 2. So, you will get minus 3x square plus 6. So, write it here which is minus 3x square plus 6. 
then the next step is subtract so you will subtract them this will get cancelled this is 7x minus 9 okay so this is your r of x now we need to verify the division lemma that is division algorithm right so what is division algorithm it is dividend is equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder right this is the division algorithm so dividend is nothing but x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 and divisor is x square minus 2 x square minus 2 into the quotient we have got is x minus 3 x minus 3 plus you will add the remainder remainder is 7x minus 9 7x minus 9 okay so if you multiply them you will get x square into x is x cube minus x square into 3 is 3x square minus 2x then you will multiply minus 2 with x minus 3 minus 2x plus 6 okay so plus 7x minus 9 i'm just removing this brackets so you will get x cube minus 3x square this minus 2x and plus 7x is plus 5x and plus 6 and minus 9 will be minus 3 so this one is your p of x right this is your dividend correct so, so therefore verified we have verified the division algorithm. Okay, clear? So, let us see the next question. Complete the following table for the given polynomial P of X. So, this is the polynomial he has given. So, we need to complete this table. So, first let us substitute X is equals to minus 1. So, X cube will be minus 1 only. Minus 2X will be 2 and 3 is constant so if you add them you will get y is equals to 4 so the coordinates are minus 1 comma 4 so if you substitute x is equals to 0 you will get x cube as 0 minus 2x will also be 0 constant remain same so the y will be 3 if you add them you will get 3 coordinates are 0 comma 3 and if you put x is equals to 1 x cube will be 1 minus 2x will be minus 2 and constant remain same that is 3 if you add them 1 minus 2 and 3 you will get y is equals to 2 coordinates are 1 comma 2 and if you put x is equals to 2 x cube will be 8 and minus 2x will be minus 4 and constant remain same so if you add them you will get 7 so the coordinates are 2 comma 7. Okay. Clear. So let us see the next question. Divide x cube minus 4x square plus 5x minus 2 by x minus 2. So this is just normal division. Okay. We just need to divide these two polynomials. So to divide any two polynomials, we know we need to follow three steps. They are divide, multiply, and subtract so the first step is divide so we will divide the first term of p of x that is x cube with the first term of g of x that is x you will get x square this is the first term of q of x you will the next step is multiply you will multiply x square with x minus 2 that is g of x you will get x cube minus 2x square so you will write it here so the next step is subtract so you will subtract them this will get cancelled so here you will get minus 2x square plus 5x you will take these two terms down plus 5x minus 2 
then again you need to follow the same three steps one is divide you will divide minus 2x square with x you will get minus 2x then you will multiply this minus 2x will be the next term of the quotient okay then you will multiply it with g of x so you will get minus 2x square plus 4x so write it here which is minus 2x square minus plus 4x so the next one is subtract so you will subtract them so this will get cancelled this will be x and you will get minus 2 down so again you need to follow the same three steps that is x divided by x you will have 1 the next term of the quotient is 1 you will multiply 1 with x minus 2 you will get x minus 2 okay then the next step is subtract so you will subtract them both the terms will get cancelled okay the remainder the r of x will be 0 okay so let us see the next question if 1 0 of the quadratic polynomial is 3 then we need to find the other 0 so so see here so we have two zeros so let us assume two zeros to be alpha and beta okay so if one zero is three so let us take alpha is equals to three let us take alpha is equals to three then we need to find the value of beta yes so this is the given polynomial p of x is equals to 2x square plus kx minus 15 okay so here we need to find the other 0. So 1 0 is 3 right. So we will apply product of zeros that is alpha beta is equals to c by a. Okay. So here alpha is 3 beta we do not know. So c is nothing but minus 15 by a is 2. Okay. So when you cross multiply you will get 6 beta is equals to minus 15. So beta is equals to minus 15 by 6. This is 3 2's, 3 5's. So you will get beta is equals to minus 5 by 2. Okay, so the other 0 is minus 5 by 2. Okay, so if they ask you to find the value of k, if they ask you to find the value of k, so how will you do it? So, see here. So, we know that alpha is equals to 3. We know that alpha is equals to 3. And beta is equals to minus 5 by 2. Right? So, now we need to find the value of k. Okay? So, k is in b place. Right? So, you will apply sum of the roots sum of the roots alpha plus beta is equals to minus b by a so alpha beta will be 3 minus 5 by 2 is equals to minus k by 2 okay so if you take an lcm you will get 6 minus 5 by 2 is equals to minus k by 2 you will get you will get 1 by 2 is equals to minus k by 2. So, 2, 2 will get cancelled. You will have k is equals to minus 1. Okay, clear? These are the multiple choice questions. Do practice all the multiple choice questions. And also practice all the questions that we have discussed today. And let me know if you have any doubts in the comment section below and I will respond to them.